In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective passing concepts in Madden 23 out of the Gun Bunch formation in the Cincinnati offensive playbook. This formation is super, super effective. If you would like to get my entire Cincinnati offensive ebook complete with the tight slots formation as well, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description of this video. The play we're going to be taking a look at today is to play Speed Dig out of the Gun Bunch formation. And it's a super effective little Y cross style passing concept. What we're going to do is we're going to block our running back. We're going to drag our tight end and we're going to sh uh, slant route our outside bunch receiver and streak our solo receiver. This is a really effective passing concept for attacking both main and zone coverage. You're going to have a very simple read here, and as you can see, that little slant route really does a great job of kind of giving a lot of different defenses trouble. It's going to give man trouble. It's going to give zone trouble. It's going to get combine that with this drag uh, to the tight end, which is going to attack the flat on the left side. So if you think about all of the things that they have to do to stop this play, one of the things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to have a hard flat to defend that tight end, and they're going to have to do something like that. The next thing they're going to have to do is they're going to have to have some zone uh, to defend this crossing route uh, to your slot receiver. So you're going to see right here, this crossing route is super effective against man coverage as well. You're just going to freeform that to the outside. Uh, and you see that a lot of times it's going to get open. Sometimes it gets KO'd, but everything sometimes gets KO'd in this game, to be honest. Um, so again, if it's man or zone, this is a really effective play because they're going to have to choose. Am I going to guard the crosser or am I going to guard the slant? And it's actually a super hard lurk in my opinion. As you see right here, crosser open. I'm going to throw that with a free form up and over the top. And then if they use, if they choose to use the, the, the crosser, another little thing that we haven't hit on yet is the fact that not only do they have to have some type of hard flat coverage over here, they also need to have safety help if they're playing press man. If they're trying to play this and press man, and you have the short out of elite ability on that outside or that solo receiver, you're gonna see that he's going to light up and he's gonna get this kind of glitchy animation that's going to allow him to separate against man coverage over the top. So as you can see, we're able to attack man coverage in a couple of different ways that leads them to have to do something to get safety help over the top uh, for their defender. And they could it could be something as simple as this right here, uh, but they have to do something to, to, to do it. The next thing is now they have to use the crosser. So in this example, just going to showcase the idea of them using that, using that crosser and what that's going to look like. And a lot of times what's going to happen is you can then throw that slant kind of in that little access point right there, and you're able to really start to attack uh, man coverage. It's a great play to open a game with, great play to just use when you don't know what to call. This play is literally always open. Um, now let's get into how this works against zone defense, a couple different things. Um, again, let's say they're playing a curl flat or they're not playing hard flats. If they're not playing hard flats, guess where we're going with this football? We're looking to try to hit this tight end right in that little pocket in easy yardage. We want to try to take as much easy yardage uh, as we can. So we're able to hit the tight end, and that, again, funnels them into a specific coverage. They have to hard flat. Um, the beauty of this play is also most of the plays in bunch attack the bunch side. This play is going to attack the solo side. Every route is going to the left, right? Um, so as you'll see here... Look at my crosser, wide open in that little soft spot. And now we get into this game where they basically have to use her, the crosser. They have to have a hard flat for the tight end. They kind of have to carry the tight end a little bit. And then what this does is it leaves this backside slant in just a perfect little backside check down read right in that little pocket right there. Super effective play um, against zone coverage. Now you might be asking, how does this play work against match coverage? Very similarly, actually, maybe even a little better. Uh, one of the things about match coverage that's really interesting is if they don't, if they're using kind of default alignments, a lot of times the streak will literally just run by the outside quarter out of bad free from there if you free form it up and over or up and outside. And I'll show you that real quick um, again. So, like, let's say you know they're pressing or whatever. Just a lot of times in general, match quarters. Um, just kind of spazzes, to be honest. Um, but you see here, there's that light-up animation again. And as you see, just bombs match coverage for a one-play score. So now they have to, again, go through and say, okay, how do, I, how do I structure my match coverage? Well, if they want to press, they have to back this defender off. 
if they back that defender off, oftentimes the tight end's going to be open because they're not going to put that defender in a hard flat. Uh, but the other thing is sometimes he'll literally just straight up run by him, free form up and inside, not not quite able to get it there. I'm probably needing to high ball too. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you high ball when you free form it, um, sometimes that can that can help this a little bit. So the point is if you see match and you see one-on-one -on, -one on that outside, at least give it a look. If he has a step, give him a shot. If he doesn't have a step, don't throw it. Or if it's riskier, or if you have other stuff. So again here, here's that tight end drag. You also notice that this crosser, super good against match coverage because match coverage is to a degree delayed man coverage. Um, and so you're able to attack it like that as well. The other thing is don't sleep on this tight end route. This tight end route when he crosses the field, a lot of times will be able to out leverage the quarter flat as you see right there. The reason that it's valuable to force them to have to hard flat is because it opens up other stuff in the offense that they're not going to be able to defend with hard flats. Um, not even just in this play, but in other plays as well, thinking like different scene concepts that we can run. So the fact that they have to hard flat now, you see, it just really opens up a lot of stuff. And as you can see there, my slant wide open over the middle of the field. If they use her, the crosser, the slant is going to be open backside. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about the gun bunch or the Cincinnati playbook in general, make sure that you join the Patreon. I think we have three or four different bunch eBooks out. We also have a complete tight slots guide from the Cincinnati playbook that you can combine with everything we're teaching you out of the bunch offset this week. So make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks.